on Obamacare. It's satire, okay, satire. Um, Obamacare, dinosaurs, yeah. rednecks, and radicals. So as satire, rednecks, ra you just Google my name into Amazon uh, books, and they Google my name into the search box, Rose Colombo, the books will pop up. Right. And so the other book is called Satire? No, it's called Obamacare, Dinosaurs, Rednecks, and Radicals. Oh, cool. It's a satire, though. It's written as a satire. Oh, okay. Written as a satire. Okay. Yeah. So it's entertaining, but the message is important. Right. What inspired you to write that book? Because people don't have the time and don't understand legalities. I don't have the time to read 2,700 pages. I mean, Congress didn't read it. Right. Congress didn't read Obamacare, and they approved it. Mm -hmm. So if they didn't understand it, and they didn't read it, so they just put their stamp of approval on it and then exempted themselves because they didn't read it and didn't want to comply, mm -hmm. but want everybody else to pay up front for services that may or may not be rendered because the government reserves the right to either ration or deny services, which is happening today. Right. Even elderly parents. And I see the difference when I take them to the doctor on how long they have to wait. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they have to come back. And they live in a pretty good affluent area. And this is happening right now. There's a shortage of doctors. And there is an overabundance of people who are not citizens, people who are... Um, who are being forced to go to special clinics now because mm -hmm. there's a shortage of doctors. Right. It's a really serious problem. And if it's this bad now, imagine if Congress doesn't defund and repeal it like they promised to do. Also, we need to impeach Obama, too, as well. That's what we need to do right now. Well, go ahead. Going back to this one little issue, though, imagine if they don't repeal and defund fund Obamacare. Imagine if they're targeting Christians and conservatives. Which they are. Collectively targeting Americans. What will happen to them if they end up in the hospital? Right. Exactly if right. They get service? Mm hmm You think they're going to get health care? Of course not. No, they're not. And that is really scary because our veterans are being treated like Second class citizens are worse. Right. And they, today, under this administration, I have friends who are, um, work in the uh, social services field, mm -hmm. and they tell me all the time how poorly our veterans are being treated and how they have to uh, fight for them for everything. Mm -hmm. And they even have this early end of life counseling uh, for veterans that they. Um, allegedly asked them to sign. Wow. And that is in Obamacare as well, which is no more than euthanasia. Right. So if you start diminishing the American people, uh, which is how my book, Obamacare, Dinosaurs, Rednecks, and Radicals, explains in an entertaining manner through an adventure story, and you start, uh, you know, knocking off the American citizens who don't agree with this regime, uh, then then you're going to diminish the population of U.S. natural-born citizens. That's right. And you're going to wipe out our history because you're talking about baby boomers, seniors, elderly, sick, veterans, veterans military, and all the men who fought through World War One, II, Vietnam, Gulf War, and so forth. Mm. They will be aging and passing on. So if there's ever a perfect time to indoctrinate children into the new agendas that they're pushing in the military and the Boy Scouts and the schools, this is the time to rewrite U.S. history. Right. That's very true. Good point. 